derivation of centroid for a semicircle from the basic principles okay so let us consider a semicircle of radius capital r so this one is a semicircle of radius capital r okay the given figure is symmetric about the y axis so x is equal to 0 so here the given figure is symmetric about the y axis the centroid lies on the y axis so the x coordinate of centroid is 0 so the here the centroid lies so x coordinate of centroid is 0 okay so now calculate the y coordinate of centroid okay so let us consider an elemental strip okay this one is the elemental strip in the shape of a triangle okay here the angle between the x axis to the strip is theta the strip angle is d theta okay the strip angle is d theta the strip length is dl and here this length is capital r okay now area of the strip da equal to area of the triangle so half into dl into r okay so from the figure what about the dl dl equal to r into d theta so da equal to half into r into d theta into r so da equal to half into r square d theta so this one is the strip area so now how to get the total area of the semicircle by doing the integration now integrate on the both sides integral da equal to half into integral r square d theta so what are the limits here minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 by moving the strip minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 the total area is covered the total semicircular area is covered the limits are minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 now area equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 integral written in the form of 0 to pi by 2 in the multiplication of 2 so half into 2 into 0 to pi by 2 into r square d theta so a equal to r square theta the limits are 0 to pi by 2 so finally the area of the semicircle is equal to pi r square by 2 this one is the equation number 1 now y unit of centroid equal to yc equal to integral y dA by integral dA so what is the y here the distance between the centroid of the strip to x axis this one is the y okay the strip is in the form of triangle okay what about the what about the center for the triangle so from the apex it is 2r by 3 from this side it is r by 3 okay so from from the center it is 2r by 3 from the apex it is 2r by 3 so here height is y okay i am considering so this one is the zero this zero here so here this length is y y here this distance is 2r by 3 from the apex the centroid is located distance of 2r by 3 okay so from the figure sin theta equal to y by 2r by 3 y equal to 2r by 3 into sin theta so so 2 into 0 to pi by 2 2r by 3 sin theta here this value is y half into r square d theta so 2 by 3 r cube 0 to pi by 2 sin theta d theta so 2 by 3 r cube what is the integral sin theta d theta minus cos theta the limits are 0 to pi by 2 so 2 by 3 r cube minus cos pi by 2 less cos 0 so cos 0 is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 so 2 by 3 r cube into 1 integral y dA equal to 2 by 3 r cube so now y coordinate of centroid is equal to yc integral y dA by integral dA so integral y dA calculated 2 by 3 r cube what about the integral dA pi r square by 2 so yc equal to 2 by 3 r cube by pi r square by 2 so yc equal to 2 by 3 r cube into 2 by pi r square here fraction is reversed so finally yc equal to 4 r by 3 pi the y coordinate of centroid is equal to 4 r by 3 pi the centroid of the semicircle xc comma yc equal to 0 comma 4 r by 3 pi so here the centroid is located here here the sense is yc so yc equal to 4 r by 3 pi <laughs>